Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Babae Diaries. Uh, thank you. Sana marami manood sa atin ngayon kasi very exciting and very timely yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. But of course, before we start, let's all welcome my co-host, uh, Don Makahilo. Hi, Maring Don! Hi, Mars! Happy Friday! Kamusta? Kamusta? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, ang hirap kaya. Eh. Ang hirap sagutin ngayon ng kumusta because of uh, what happened sa province namin and it's been a struggle but, you know, just like everyone else, sinusubukang makabangon from from all of those things. Ikaw, Mare, kumusta? Um, okay naman, Mars. Ito, nagkakape at excited. Ganina pa kami excited ng ating uh, bisita no, sa sa hmm. na ito. Um, malapit sa, sa pindi ito kasi gusto namin yung topic talaga and I think um, marami tayong matutunan uh, sa topic natin ngayon. At isintan kasi as kaka-mention mo lang ay very timely nga yung topic natin na uh, babae in times of uh, disaster. Ayan. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Kasi um, sobrang timely and at the same time uh, ako personally I believe na marami tayong matutunan from these stories and at the same time uh, mas maging efficient yung response natin knowing na uh, ma-open up natin ngayon yung stories of, of babayis in times of disaster. So I can't wait na. So Marin, both makalala mo na sa atin yung ating guest this afternoon. Ayun. Um, kung excited kayo, excited din ako uh, para introduce yung ating uh, speaker ngayon at ating bibita. No? Actually, Mars, siya yung dakilang ate ng nakataan, especially ng mga young uh, sexual and reproductive health rights advocates at gaya ko, at siya ay inspirasyon natin lahat sa pagsulong ng um, pag-implement ng reproductive health law at the same time ng iba pang advokasya, no? Um, siya din ang dakilang nanay ni Cloud. Na Cloud. Ayan, maging batang si Cloud. At the same time, ayan nga daw, sabi niya, simple na daw pakilala ko sa kanya, sabihin ko lang na siya ay kasama ko sa advocacy at the same time ay human rights advocate. Um, ayan, let's welcome Ate Doreen! <laughs> Ate Doreen, saan ka na? Ayan. Hi! Good afternoon! Ayan, tama. Kung excited kayong makachika ako, mas excited ako kasi 4pm pa lang. <laughs> Naalip ko nga tanong. <laughs> ano mo? <laughs> <laughs> Sobrang excited. Ito yung sa mga dala ni COVID sa atin. Yung, yung desire natin to interact with other people. To, to see... Hi! hi, 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 hi um, uh, ayan po. Um, that's my kid. Lagi siyang kasama sa lahat ng mga ano. Hindi siya na... It's Tita Dawn. Ayan, Tita Nick. Okay. So, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> and very tired po yung ating topic, uh, Babae Diaries in the Context of Disaster. Kasi parang, no, hindi pwede ang dalawa anak. Hindi, hindi na natapos-tapos ang pamamasyal ng mga bagyo sa Pilipinas. Uh, from, from January, nagkalaon ng Taal eruption, nagkaroon ng kung ano-anong baha, and then this, no, yung, yung parade ng mga bagyo. So, parang, Hindi pa ba ito matatapos ko? Ang pota na. <laughs> oh, okay. Sige, Mars. Uh, yeah. Ayun. I-intro lang natin din para rin sa mga bago nating mga viewers dyan. Um, ayan, no, ipakalala lang din namin kung ano yung babae diary. So, um, actually kami ni uh, Ate Doreen, uh, we call each other Mars. Eh. Ayun, no, kumari, no? Ikaw kasi hindi kita matawag ng Mars eh, Ate. So, um, <laughs> nice kami, parang sabi namin, or sa pisa natin yung parang informal discussion lang, chikahan, kumbaga, uh, yung mga batang feminista, no? With, ayun, kasama yung, parang i-feature din natin yung mga young feminists sa kagaya natin. At the same time, i-highlight natin ang mga various issues and questions na tinatanong ng, ng bawat babae. Na kaming dalawa, meron din kami mga katanungan at sinasabi nga namin dito lagi, Hindi namin alam yung mga sagot din. Kaya, hindi <laughs> invite din kami ng mga iba pa mga feminist na gaya mo, Ate Doreen, para din maliwanagan din kami at matuto din kami. Ayun. At yeah. it's, it's our way of highlighting um, young feminists and celebrating 
feminism, sisterhood, you know, th- those contexts and all. Ayon. So, we're so happy to have you here. So, Gimar. Ako din. <laughs> Super happy. So, after after the baby is another baby. <laughs> That's fine. So, pero ako po, sobrang thank you Ate Jane for, for accepting our invitation. So, yes. yun nga, sabi ko nga po kanina Ate Jane, um, uh, Alba is actually very, actually it's very hard to live in our province kasi nga nearly uh, talagang tinatamaan kami ng bagyo and we have to yes. live with that. We have to live My with that. My new summers. <laughs> Uh, uh, like, we have to do that. And it's something that I think very important that we can natin or share natin yung kwento ng mga kabaihan during disasters. Because, di ba po, Ate Dreen, usually sila yung uh, mostly neglected sa, yes. sa communities. And sometimes... Ano eh? uh, mm, Kami ni Dawn, yan. Ito na, ito na yung reveal. We're both from the Western Visayas. <laughs> Parang kaming ilongga. So, madalas din namin ma-experience ang bagyo and and yung mga, uh, yung bagyo, yung baha, no? Um, in the 1990s, eto na, bukingan na ng ito. In the 1990s, hindi pa uso ang text ng NDRRMC, di ba? Pag may bagyo. I was born in the 19, ano ako, 1989. So, nagkakamalay 1990s. Ang tanda ko noon, we have to listen doon sa battery-operated na radio. ba? Kasi, ang kuryente noon sa probinsya ay para lamang sa mayayaman. <laughs> you have to listen to the radio and kailangan mong bantayan yung 5 a.m., yung, yung 11 a.m., and then yung sa hapon na advisory about the bagyo, which is very crucial for our household kasi farmers ang, ang aking grandparents. We live with my grandparents. We are farmers and we live near the river. So, kailangan namin bantayan kung kung ano yung situation, lalakas ba yung bagyo, may ulan ba siya, may kasama ba siyang pagbaha. And the women in the household, makikita mo na doble yung burden na dala nila. I can see my grandparents, I can see my mother na pag may bagyo, the, the men in the household is focused on ensuring na yung yung bukid, yung mga farm animals safe and secure. But the women have to take care of the children, the women has to take care of the food, you have to ensure na sapat yung kerosin, yung pampailaw ng, ng kalam, yung mga ganyan. And despite the advent of technology, nothing much has changed, no? Even ngayon, ganun pa rin yung burden na dala ng kababaihan. And no one, actually, no one asked the women, no one asked the babae, Teka, musta ka? Mars, ka musta ka? Mars, nagkape ka na ba pagkatapos ng bagyo? Mars, ano, nilalamig ka ba? May, may, may pagkain ba kayo dyan? Walang, walang ganon. Parang, it's given na dahil babae ka, you have to take care of the household. You have to ensure na kung kumaha man, mag, mag-lockdown man, or magkaroon man ng mahabang panahon na walang available na resources, dalahin ng babae yun. No one would care to, to look into what if this women is pregnant? Paano pag breastfeeding? Or yung pinakasimple na lang, paano pag nareregla tapos na sa evacuation center? How are they going to to wash their bodies? How are they going to feed their children? Yung mga gano. So, eto yung mga nakikita na natin noon, pero hanggang ngayon ay hindi pa rin na-address. <laughs> Yes, actually, ano, alam mo, Maring Don, sobrang agree ako yate duri na we have this advancement in technology, but the, the advancement when it comes to like catering the needs of the women, it seems like parang noon-noon pa din. And yeah. so, siguro yung nakakatuwa lang, uh, siguro yung sa changing times na rin, it's because there's lots of progressive uh, organization, women, Ang maganda rin is paunti-unti na naglalagay din naman ng mga like um uh, areas for children, areas for breastfeeding, yes. areas for 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 pregnant women. Pero we need more eh kasi ay kulang na kulang yeah. siya compared to the and, number of ano ba? And ang um, nakakalungkot doon, these initiatives are usually led by NGOs. Yes. Yeah, I, I I can give an example. One NGO that is close sa heart namin ni Don is the Family Planning Organization of the Philippines. 
when when Sendong and um, several other typhoons ay niravage ang Mindanao, FPOP, together with UNFPA Philippines, they send this team back. I, I can hold, it, it's called the MISP, the Minimum Intervention Service Package. This timba is for women, pero yung laman ng timba, meron siyang malong, so para yung babae, pag magbibihis siya, papasok siya doon sa loob ng malong, and then you can change, diba? Then may, may set of clean underwear, toothbrush, and and all those na parang pang hygiene ng babae. Kasi yung, yung, yung konsepto behind that is, hindi mo man ma, maibigay yung yung buong need ng babae during that time. At least yung feeling na malinis siya kahit nasa evacuation center siya or malinis siya kahit na kulang yung resources nila. That means a lot already sa babae, eh, di ba? Yung, yung mga nana, yung mga women sa family, burdened na to take care. So parang laging ganun yung question, who's gonna care for the carers? Who's gonna care for the mothers, for for the ates? <laughs> Exactly. Mga mga paranan. <laughs> diba? I, I think isang magandang tingnan din natin, Nix, yung ano, bakit ganun pa rin yung response? It's because yung mindset pa rin ng, ng karamihan sa atin, very low on disaster preparedness. Hmm. And mas nakafocus on coping up after the storm, coping up after the disaster. Hindi pa nag-shift yung thinking natin on um, ano yung mga gagawin natin para yung mga nangyari before hindi na maulit or kung maulit man siya, it's not as bad as it was. Wala kasi ng I mean, very low yung ganon na pag-isip, no? Yeah, exactly. Um, Pag-pag lang yun, no? I think um, kasi kami recently din Mars, kaya napifeel ko si, si Mars sa, sa Albay kasi nga nung Exactly. Well, a year ago, December 25, Pasko, Pasko, ni Ravage kami ng Typhoon Ursula sa Balasan, Ilo. Yes. So, no, no, in some parts of uh, Capiz, Aplan. So, grabe talaga yung ang, ang mga pangyayari. No? At the same time, parang uh, meron na tayong um, um, mga specific laws to address these situations. Dapat, ano, na dapat ay um preparado na tayo may ways of coping up na tayo um kasi parang hindi lang ibig sabihin niya na ano eh parang um dapat yung mga tao are are well informed before ng oh, yes. um dapat na ready na yung mga evacuation centers kaya kasi ngayon nga no parang ano nangyayari text ang environment si so ang question ko okay fine no oh, malakas ang malakas ang ulan uh, lilikas sa mga tao and then what's next Walang oh. next plan ng dati. Saan yung evacuation center? Saan pupunta ang mga tao? At, and most likely, sa areas na yon kung saan na, um, na, na bagyo, no? Ay, walang, walang komunikasyon. So, pa, paano makakatanggap? Correct. Correct. Parang, I think may mga gaps pa din. And siguro parang, I think we should have been learning na with so many typhoons and disasters na na experience natin na parang my god 20 typhoons every year padami ng padami ng intense ang pa-intense parang my god dapat di ba somehow i'm not saying na parang master na tayo of that pero sana we've been learning on this at the same time talaga we can do better na, than our current responses exactly. we can definitely oh, do better oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, tapos ang, ang ang burden talaga ay nasa kababaihan, ano? So, ayun, parang very, ano lang ako sa isa topic natin. Um, kasi, <laughs> very as such ka. Yeah, uh, kasi, well, uh, to give you lang a background, binahab ang, ang, ang bahay ng sister ko, lampas ka tao, you know? But yeah. somehow, um, at, at yung silver lining of that lang, no? Yung mga neighbors niya, I think 18 to 20 of them, including young young, young kids, ay doon nag, ano, doon nag-stay sa, sa roof. So, you know, we, we help save lives, you know, because of, of their house. Although kahit na, yan lang, nabaha nga yung, yung bahay, yeah. talaga buong bahay. So, Saka, tapos yung, ano, yung response din talaga. Ayun. Yung long-term effect kasi nung, nung hindi magandang disaster preparedness and disaster response is very drastic. Like, for pregnant women, they could miss their prenatal services. 
Hmm. And and what if these women are critical or pasok sila doon sa high risk pregnancies? Malaki ang implications noon sa kanila. Mothers are challenged to cope with the vaccination ng kanilang mga kids yung access nila to safe and sanitary drinking water. So ito yung ito yung kumbaga short term uh, disaster response would be provide relief operations, ba? Give relief hopes, provide food, the water and all that. Pero paano yung mga services na kailangan kailangan talaga? Yeah, um women who have HIV, how can they access their antiretroviral treatment? In in the case of uh, Yolanda before, my my former office TLF chair was able to document that there are cases of trans women and and lesbians who have to to engage into alternative sources of income just to cope, de ba? Because mm-hmm. they have to feed their families, they have to take care of their partners, they have to take care of their parents, and along all this. No one is asking, how are you? What are the type of support that, that you need? And women are also trapped in in homes that are violent, diba? And because of the of the the disaster, even COVID, diba? It, it's it's a, it's a disaster, diba? It, it's a huge disaster. And because of the pandemic, many women are forced to live in in their homes kasama yung mga perpetrators of abuse nandoon yung mga nang haharas sa kanila and dahil limited or skeletal workforce ang, ang ating mga opisina ngayon hindi rin sila agad-agad natutugunan so when when we talk about disaster ang lagi lang natin ang laging naiisip ng nakakarami sa atin ay pag may pagkain sapat na yan pag may tubig sapat na yan but actually no it, it's more than what you put inside your body but also Kamusta? Ito, de ba? How, how's the mental health of women, de ba? How's the mental health of mothers, of young professionals, of young girls? Yun yung yun yung mga nami miss out. Kasi yung pagpaplano at paglalatag ng mga actions on disaster preparedness hindi siya gender inclusive. Hindi pa siya ganon ka gender inclusive. Hindi pa siya ganon ka gender sensitive. Laging ang ang tingin ay bracket, laging ang tingin ay buo, no? Hindi hindi siya nagre-respond sa mga specific pa na pangangailangan ng kababaihan at kabataan. Yeah, exactly. And I think um I'll refer to that kasi at some point then nung Typhoon Ursula sa Amin Mars, um namigay din kami ng mga well, I I gather donations, no? Um so na uh, donation drive kami ng mga kapatid ko. At the same time, yung mga um, donors din ako na nagsasabi, please buy this for, uh, for babies. Um, please ba? Ang iba nag-donate talaga na ang pinag-donate niya, panties and bras. Kasi nga, usually, ang dinodonate, diba? Damit, damit. Parang, oh. okay, so swerte kung may damit pang babae, kung may, I mean, in, in, in very generic kasi ang nilalagay sa, ano talaga, sa sarili ko. Oh, wow. So, walang, Sanitary, na- sanitary napkins para sa mga menstruating women. Um, meron din um, maraming mga needs na nun. Yung, kasi dapat mag- magkaiba kasi ang, ang vulnerabilities at needs na ng, ng men and women. So dapat tingnan talaga yun at kailangan natin ng gender, gender perspective on that. However, at some point, kahit na may mga gal, <laughs> um, kaya um, nag-aral ng gal ng atin mga LGUs, ano? parang okay, o oh, sige gal, oh, sige, may, may, may binigay kami sa mga babae, may binigay kami sa lalaki. But that's not the point of, of, of God, ano? Uh, it's being um, uh, gender responsive and very inclusive and transformative in terms of providing relief uh, and, and support sa mga um, victims talaga. Ayun. Yeah, actually, to add na eh. Tama yung sinabi niyo ate Dorinin, parang doon, na um, I think ito talaga yung pinaka nagkukulang tayo eh. Kasi parang ang mas nangyayari sa response is that in-identify bilang babae, bilang ganito. Tapos yung hindi nila mas nakikita yung mga mga pinaka na, uh, kinakailangan. Kasi alimbawa, actually one of the struggles um, ng mga babae sa evacuation centers is yung like mga menstruating. Uh, mga menstruators. So, anong nangyari kasi, 
um, nasa evacuation sila, eh, yung iba wala talaga ng tiryang gamit. So, walang pandis. So, may nalagay yung napkins. May napkin ka nga, wala kang pandis. So, isa pa yun. And at the same time, syempre, yung, yung brass din. Kasi hindi mo siya talaga makikita sa list of donations uh, sa kahit na sino. Uh, which is actually very important kasi kailangan tingnan talaga natin yung basic needs ng, ng kababaihan eh. For us to be able to respond to that, we have to look beyond doon sa mga basic needs na sa tingin natin na yun lang yung kinakailangan, bigas, ganyan, ganyan. Kasi mas marami pa eh. Actually, ako mas sinusupport ko yung, yung, yung mga donors na iba-iba talaga yung dinodonate instead of like relying na yung pagkain, 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 ganyan. So actually, ano mga Mars, uh, nag, I, I started a um, donation drive. So instead of giving them out a uh, parang mga talagang means talaga o like bigas, ganyan, ganyan. Ang, ang gagawin ng uh, group is that, ng babae diaries, is we're gonna give out cash instead of, kasi ako niniwala ko na mas sila yung makakaalam ng pangangailangan nila. If you give them something na binigay mo na, you don't give, give them the opportunity to choose. You don't give them the opportunity to buy kung ano yung sa tingin nila kung nakailangan nila. So I think that's one of the uh, very important response to really know or sila yung mag-identify ng kung ano yung kailangan nila. Kasi para sa akin, mas nasasolve mo yung problem during disaster response kapag gusto nila or yung pangailangan talaga nila yun ang muna. So napakaganda nung so grabe na ako makapaniwala dahil natin yung <laughs> usapan. Hindi pa tayo nagtatanungan yan, ha? Wala. <laughs> Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, alas 4, dito na sa atin na rin, eh. Ganun ka, ganun. <laughs> wala, wala pa na sa yan, eh. Sa... May tulog kasi. Kaya that's no energy, eh. <laughs> Pagkagising lang talaga, iba yung, ano, yung, yung energy. <laughs> so, yes. Um, sige, magsimula na tayo Ayan, sa panungan naman natin. Ito, game, ito, game. Gusto ko talaga ito ng to kasi um, I think uh, maraming matutulungan ito, especially donors din na gusto mag-donate. Ano ba yung mga immediate RH uh, na relief operations na talaga yung pinakakinakailangan in terms of uh, gender inclusive uh, relief operations? Um, first and foremost, kung magbibigay uh, kung magbibigay tayo ng um, ASRH services for for women in disaster, maganda yung, minayansyon ko kanina, yung gawa ng FPOP, yung uh, NDNFPA, yung meron silang something na magamit para protectionan yung sarili nila, uh, magpo-provide sa kanila ng privacy kahit papaano. So, malong, yan. Clean underwears, yan. Um, family planning services, please wag po nating wawalain ang, ang family planning services. Hindi ko po sinasabi na pumunta tayo sa community na nabagyo at mamutbut tayo ng condom. But rather, we have, um, if LGUs can do mobile clinics, yung mag-orient them about, about condoms, about pills. Kasi if you would observe data, if you can see yung, yung numbers of pregnancies, uh, occurring in in um tawag dito centers no sa mga evacuation centers natin or post typhoon post disaster nagbo-boom talaga yan siya kasi nga di ba tabi-tabi yung mga tirahan or or yung yung proximity ng mga tao so yun yun ang mga kailangan ko nakin also yung um, sanitary uh, kits, yung toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo, pwede siyang financial, sabi nga ni Nix kanina, para mapili, mapili nila kung ano yung brand na trip nilang gamitin, yung may level of comfort sila. Ang mahalaga ay nandoon, no? yung something na makakapagparamdam sa babae na um, that, will make her, that will make her feel good about herself. No, yun yung yun yung pinakaunang um dapat na nandoon. Also, in due consideration for um lactating mothers, dapat merong breastfeeding cover man lang or or if it, it's in a center, merong malinis at maayos na na area 
for Lock Nation, yung mga nanay, meaning meron silang pwedeng paghugasan ng kamay. Um, with breastfeeding naman, kasi you don't need a lot. You just need clean hands. no? You just need clean hands. So, dapat merong uh, malinis na panghugas ng kamay. Yun. Malinis at uh, ay, kumbaga may, may privacy sila. So, it's a, it's a specific area for breastfeeding mothers. And yung um, access to vaccines ng um, children, lalo na yung mga 0 to 12 months. Dapat nandoon yun agad sa sa pangunang layer of response para sa mga kababaihan kasi it's the women who are uh, task no or sometimes i say burden of doing all this breastfeeding taking care of the children it would also be good if they can get ano fresh fresh vegetables diba to to sustain them Mm-hmm. Ang ang fear ko lang kasi um although I understand that packed goods like like noodles and sardines are the easiest no and the most convenient to to cook during times of like food. Ang naisasaalang-alang naman dito ay yung kalusugan ng mga tao. So yun maganda din siyang uh, tingnan. Yun siya. And the presence of um protection yung uh, women's and children's protection to to prevent or at the very least address gender based violence kasi mataas din ang GBV sa panahon ng ng disaster at pandemya yeah and i would just like to add lang kasi nung sa panahon ng Yolanda was a call ka kakapasok ko lang din sa sa UP there was a call for us young young women and you know, if we're going to donate milk kasi nga May mga mothers na dahil na stress sila ay um hindi makapagbigay ng milk sa mga babies nila. Yes. So how about that one um for for can you um, um share something about that? Yeah, about breastfeeding. You can actually share breast milk, no? You just have to make sure that it's frozen, you know, it's frozen. Kasi um bawal actually maging part ng relief operations ang um, powdered milk or yung infant yeah. milk bawal yon so uh, we encourage breast milk donation but these donations should be coordinated with the provincial office, the city health or the the municipal health office para they can also take care of the breast milk i remember when when taal erupted last january january right last yeah. january we were able to collect and donate around 200 bags of uh, breast milk for our children. We also recommend use uh, breast milk for children during the types of disaster because the risk of using feeding bottles and you don't have access to clean water to sanitize these bottles, this puts the baby at higher risk. No, Mas mataas yung risk sa kanila to get amoebiasis and other waterborne diseases. Ayun oh, okay. siya. Very critical din ang wash pala. Access to ano, water and sanitation and hygiene. Actually, sobrang ano, informative na natin doon. Kasi di ba, may iba, parang, ano lang, alam mo yan, siguro din sa height ba? Na, yes. Ano, gusto, ko, ano, gusto ko mag-donate, gusto ko matagawa niyo mga mothers. Pero ito, very <laughs> important na na-highlight niyo po na hindi pala pwede or hindi basta-basta pwedeng mag-donate. Um, it's in the milk code. Hindi ko ma-recall yung exact executive order, but it's called the milk code of the Philippines. Hindi siya, uh, we don't allow um, yung basta-bastang pamimigay ng breast, uh, ng infant powdered milk, no? Because actually, yung infant powdered milk kasi is based also on on the, the status ng bata. So, the milk that you might be, that we might be giving will not fit doon sa tummy ng bata. There are um, gastrosensitive babies na baka mapainom natin or mabigyan natin ng milk na hindi pala akma sa kanya, yung mga may lactose intolerance. So, that would lead to um, further problems. And like breast milk, sabi nga nila, it's best for babies. <laughs> so it's yeah. a lot safer. Ayun. But, um, itagdag ko lang din kasi, um, at ito din na, no? Uh, I think at some point kasi, last year, I don't know, was it last year or sa, sa taal, na parang uh, napapassion yung nag- uh, uh, fashion show mga mga exactly, ano, mga binibigyan ng mga recipients ng mga nabigyan 
pang boy scout, may pang girl scout, may pang yeah. pastor, may pang ganito, may pang ganon. I think, um, ayun din, ano, for us na mga nagbibigay din ng, ng mga old clothes natin and yeah. other donations, isipin din natin. Hindi po, yes. um, when we forget, hindi na natin ginagamit at pwede din sa Ay. mga pagkakayan natin. Kami so, mag-asawa. So, we do donation drives, the ba, Don? We do donation drives. But we, we always tell people who donate, um, what would you feel if you will be the one to receive this? No? Because a lot of people see donation drive as an opportunity to let go of their trash. Yeah, diba? I agree. Diba? It's yeah. an opportunity for them to let go of their trash. So, so for a person who had already survived a storm, a flood, a volcanic eruption, sobrang bagsak na ng, ng feelings mo, diba? Sobrang frustrated ka na, stress ka na sa mga nangyayari. Mm-hmm. Tapos patatanggap mong um, donation na damit ay 90s. <laughs> hindi na makatulong, di ba? Hindi siya yeah. makatulong, di ba? So we always tell people na we, I admit ako, we screen the clothes that we give when we do donation drives. We make sure that it's comfortable, it's wearable, and hindi siya yung tipong um, magmumukhang clown, magmumukhang mascot yung magsusot. We've received donations na parang gown, stiletto, boots, bagyo ito, nabaha ito, na pumutok ang vulkan, may lahar, magdo-donate ka ng boots, you, di ba? Parang, what would you feel? Empathize with these people. You you learn to empathize. If you would be at the receiving end of these goods, what would you feel? Kung ako, okay lang, bigyan mo akong boots, di ba? Kasi masusuot ko yan, ganyan, ganyan. But for a person na nasa putikan, wala na siyang bahay, wala siyang makain, aanhin niya ang boots. <laughs> so yeah. we learn to empathize. We learn to to be sensitive also of the needs and the feelings of those people na dumanas ng disaster. Yeah, actually, ate doon just to add, ah, kasi sobrang nagigigil talaga ako sa mga taong ganun eh. Na parang medyo ang mataas din attachment ko sa ganyan kasi experience ko din eh. Nagsama-sama <laughs> tayong tatlo din. Oo, <laughs> oh, yun na may diba? personal attachment din. Kasi hindi ko talaga kinaya yung halimbawa, yung uniform nila sa office, parang like, please be, uh, for me ah, very inhumane yung ganun. It, it's not, you're not, you're not really helping. You're yeah. actually, um, kumaga, parang binababa mo masyado yung pagkatao ng bibigyan mo. Totoo. Diba? Hmm. It, it's, it's not it's not right to treat them like porket na walang sila ng bahay hindi na sila tao at pa sila na lang na experience ko rin yung ano eh yung merong isang nagdonate eh akala ko sige wow grabe ang dami pero yung pagbukas ko talaga ah i saw na like it's all trash like wala kang magagamit like basahan talaga hmm. like Parang, hindi kami pa rin ang problema, paano namin siya i-dispose, kasi nga, sobrang yeah. dami. So, And there are it, even people who donate used underwears. Yeah, like... Oh, that's so gross. Huwag so, naman so, ganun. <laughs> kasi we have, sabi nga natin, that's why we're talking about this, because wa, ano ba talaga yung kailangan ng mga tao? Uh, again, uh, lagi natin iisipin, Um, answer that question na hindi yung perspective mo, but with the perspective of that receiving person. Kasi yeah, when it's your perspective, sigurado mali yan. Bakit? Kasi hindi naman ko yung nasa sitwasyon. So ang nasa isip mo lang, magbigay. Hindi mo, yeah. uh, yung, yung, yung essence of like being a person or, or kung ano yung pagiging tao na pagbibigay, hindi mo minsan na naiisip yan because parang sobrang hype mo lang na mamigay, na mamigay, na mamigay, na hindi mo alam yung binibigay mo pala, hindi na mga tao. And, exactly. and, and sometimes, it's not actually material things that, that the women in, in evacuation centers or even those na nakabalik na sa mga bahay nila, it's not even goods that they need. They need um, someone who will look after their kids even just for an hour or yung who will who will help them in cleaning up their house even just for half a day or for a whole day there there are other ways of expressing support to women in times like this and i uh, meron pa um people who would um post in social media when they help it's not actually helping like you you would do 
live stream while helping uh, particular household clean their house. Oh, nandito ako, ganyan, ganyan. I, I'm helping um, this uh, family clean up and, and all that. But in reality, sinong tinutulungan mo? Who, who are you helping? Who are, who are you really lifting up in, in this story? It's not the family. It's all about you helping them. Diba? So, yeah. Actually, yung parang ginagawa pa nating sub-story yung mga pinagdadaanan nila. When it doesn't need to be a sub-story, it is already a sad story in itself. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I also like to point out that eh, meron din yung mga Mr. and Miss Miss na mga bayan-bayan na yan. Uh, alam mo yun, then may pasasyash pa, tutulong-tulong doon. I think tapos yan nga, pa... pa live live pa like oh my god parang pwede naman kayong tumulong as someone you know um who is really empathetic of what's you know happening at the same time really um, genuine na uh, pagtulong tapos oh my god meron pa nga akong nagsasabi sa akin nung i was helping back in my town ano na ako hindi ako nagpo-post sa mga social media and all. I think at some point lang, I just posted um photos of distribution kasi for my donors din na nagbigay donors, na. Donors, yes. oh, Yeah, to see that, you know, um it has, um you know, their donation has come a long way and gano'n. Pero may mga tao doon, my God, mga in in times of disinformation pa. Ito ay highlight ko din, Ate. So, lalo pang na in terms of coping up, you know, and preparation sa mga sa mga disaster how do we combat or do, how do we address um, um misinformation kasi parang i think uh, karamihan din talaga is uh, you know affected of, of this so yeah a lot of a lot of problems in disaster response ay nanggagaling sa sa misinformation so let let's take a look at the covid response diba grabe kalala ang misinformation about covid that it's it, it directly affected women, di ba? Kasi yung mga kababaihan ang nasa forefront ng pag-take care ng households, no? When when we say, this community is going into lockdown, sino ang burden ngayon to ensure na enough ang food for the household? Ang nanay, di ba? Ang nanay ang mag-check, ang nanay ang mag-make sure and all that. So, how do we address misinformation? By ensuring that First, tayo as as we have the accountability eh, as advocates as as um tayo yung karami kadalasan pinagkukuhanan ng information ng ng mga tao lalo na yung mga malalapit sa atin ensuring that the information that we share is honest and legit no yeah. ito yung kumbaga walang halong eh ng political affiliations or anything kung ano lang yung totoo yun lang yung sasabihin natin. And by demanding accountability also for those people who are supposed to provide the response. Case in point, Rolly. Di ba? Huwag na tayo lumayo. Tayo sa Typhoon Rolly. Days before Rolly arrived in the Philippines, kasunod ako niyan, Joa, na si Shoni. Di ba? As <laughs> Ang taas na ng level of awareness ng mga tao. May bagyong parating. Yeah, we're being fed with the information na may bagyong parating. But what are we supposed to do? Walang ganun. Walang duma, lumabas yung mandate for people living in low-lying areas to evacuate, to move into higher grounds, to move into safer places. A few hours before Rolly hit. No, how 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 are we going to protect the people if we do it like that? Misinformation kasi it's not just about sharing unreliable or not information. Misinformation can also be about withholding information. You hindi mo sinasabi sa mga tao. And in the context of misinformation, if you, eto lalo na sa mga young people, if you are not sure of your information source, do not share. Yes. Do not be bold. Diba? Don't be so babibo. Don't be so... Um, I just want to help. I just want to share information. But you know, there's going to be a storm surge because of Typhoon Rolly. What's your source? Hmm. You are exactly. not uh, helping. You are contributing to the panic and the mental stress ng mga kababaihan, ng mga tao in general. And I think that's also 
why we need um, clearer directives, mas malinaw na mga informasyon, mas malinaw na mga instruction sa mga ahensya na dapat inibibigay nito. And the RMC is good. Everyone are ka ba naman makareceive ng information, di ba? Sobrang lakas pa na naman. Oh, but it's three in the morning. You get informed that there's there's this storm, there's this all that. But we can go beyond that. We can do better than that. If we know that the typhoon is coming, the LGU can go around the community, tell the people you are at risk here. Can you move to safer grounds? Can you go to the centers and make sure that our centers are inclusive and sensitive to the needs of women and children. No, ang ang hirap kasi don sa guten ng how do we address misinformation? Kasi ang daming pinagkagalingan ng information sa Pilipinas. Exactly. Yeah. And with, with social media, di ba? With social media, people don't have the tendency to fact check. Ay, this is relevant. I will just post this. I will not check if this is true or not. Yeah, diba? exactly. Yung, um, kinunan ko lang ate yung misinformation kasi it adds another layer sa vulnerabilities especially ng, ng mga women. So tayo talaga ay yung mga kababiyan ng mas nababurden pa lalo. Um, I just also like to add, um, I think there are this barangay in QC no? in times naman nitong pandemic sa COVID naman. So oh my God, yung ginawa nila, nag-pinall out yung mga nanay at the same time yung mga nanay yung magbabantay sa barangay nila na walang lalabas. Na parang, oh my God, di paano kung nanay ka, may tatlo kang anak, may elderly ka pa kinagagaan, kailangan nang problema ka ba, anong kakainin nyo sa bahay. So, dinagdagan mo na naman ng another layer of burden yung, yung pababaihan. Na parang, and also, and it's lang, kasi it's, it's QC. And for QC, yeah. we have this um, progressive God uh, <laughs> G- <laughs> G- <laughs> Parang nakakaano lang na um, I don't know also where where this it, it's a meme but it's actually very harmful to women getting chismosas as contact tracer that's very discriminatory that's very foul and that is very wrong in all aspects as in parang why are we telling um chismosa kasi is women diba it's a term for women so are we saying that in times of disaster in times of pandemic like this magre-rely tayo sa mga kababaihan na sila yung magdadala ng information sa atin. No? It, it may seem funny at first. The meme seems funny at first. But when you think long and hard about it, it's very harmful. It's very foul to women. No? Exactly. Yeah. Bakit? Ang, hindi lang naman babae ang nasa labas ng panahon ng pandemic. We see a lot of men drinking. We see a lot of men making tambay in the kalsada. But were they called out? No, nobody called them out, di ba? In times of calamity, in times of disaster, ang laging tanong ay, anong ginawa ng nanay mo? Ba't wala kayong stock ng pagkain? Very few would there ask, nasan si tatay? Di ba? Very few would ask, anong role ni kuya? It's always the ate, it's always the nanay, di ba? It's always the kapatid na babae who will look after the smaller kid while the mother cook up with, with um, cleaning the household, di ba? So, kahit yung pagpila sa relief goods, babae yeah. na din. Yeah, and about, and speaking, of, and speaking of that, ate, um, I think it's always, ang um, TSWD has this, um, what they call it, one form, na kailangan yung um, head of the family should be the, the male, the husband. And there were cases oh. na, like, for example, yung husband ng, ng sister ko is a seafarer. So, during the, the, the typhoon, eh, wala, uh, during the distribution ng relief goods, eh, wala. So, parang, my God, so hindi nyo bibigyan yung ate ko ng relief goods dahil wala yung oh. asking. Exactly, diba? Uh, yung, 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 yung policies natin nandun. Very, very dominant pa rin yung gender uh, disparity kahit sa mga simpleng um, responses lang. That's just women. What what about when we talk about our trans women uh, members of the community? They they are being deprived of access to relief goods kasi trans ka, paano ka magkakaroon ng pamilya? Hindi ka kasama or or lesbian ka. Hindi kayo counted as household ng partners mo kasi yeah. hindi kayo male and female. We we see cases like this and these people are forced 
to do um, a lot of coping up no para ma-provide yung pangangailangan ng pamilya nila sa panahon ng ng crisis so that's that's very harmful and that's very foul diba like yung sinabi mo nga doon ang head of household lang dapat ay lalaki what if it's a lesbian couple diba or what if it's a trans woman living with with a cisgender man how are they going to provide uh, how are they going to get access right even yeah. yung access nila for for family co- uh, family planning commodities are sometimes hampered kasi sasabihin ay hindi kayo ang pinaka priority na maka-access nito dapat mauna yung mga totoong babae may yeah. mga pag ganun lumalabas yung kumbaga sa panahon ng disaster sa panahon ng pandemya lutang na lutang yung ang gender and sensitivity ng mga tao at yung kahit yung ating response ay very obvious na may naiiwan no may may hindi nasasama sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan right yeah, yeah. i agree talaga kasi um, discrimination is uh, really rampant when it comes to this and sabi niyo nga po ate Dorin yung kanina yung about sa cheese miss like MG, we should stop stereotyping that women are the only chisposas because, you know, it's all gender. Anyone can be a chisposa. Yes. <laughs> yes, anyone can be a chisposa. So, it's it's not just the women. Yeah. And at the same time, yung sabi nyo nga po na, you know, we really have to, kaya nga for, for me, ah, um, a lot of people are actually like denying people of uh, soji bill. When, when, when the truth is, soji is about everybody. So this is not just about the LGBT community. It's about everybody. It's protecting everybody, which is actually a misconception. And imagine mo pa lang dito pa lang sa disaster response eh. Yeah, and it's just disaster it. response. It's just yeah. disaster response. <laughs> so parang <laughs> the, the question of um of LG equality is not just about marriage because that's what people think when you say about soji yes. equality it's just about marriage when in truth no this is about getting equal access to all the services that is being available only to um cisgender male and female diba eh, yun, yun lang naman yung ang gusto natin sa kahit anong konteksto sa trabaho man yan or more so in times of pandemic in times of disaster like this walang napag-iiwanan sa serbisyo walang napag-iiwanan sa benefits no kasi when it's hard for women like like me i'm a mom i'm a working mother um coping with this pandemic has been really really hard but it's even harder for for those women uh for those trans women who do not have fo- formal employment no mm-hmm. ang ang laki ng impact nito sa kanila ako i'm just grateful that um even if there's a uh, even if there's covid even if there's pandemic um nakakapag-cope kami in terms of what we need araw-araw um there were instances that during relief distributions, I was called out like, kailangan mo pa ba yan? Parang gano'n, parang, this is my share of the pie. Why are you depriving mm-hmm. me of my share of the pie? This rightfully belongs to me, di ba? So parang, yeah. yung, yung women then, if, if there's shaming in in women, there's shaming in everybody, no? So, sa, sa panahon ng crisis, doon mas lalong lumulutang yung mga biases ng mga tao. That, that's why lumulutang yung mga biases natin. Pangalawa, lumulutang yung kakulangan sa serbisyo at pasilidad. And pangatlo, lumulutang yung kakulangan natin sa um, paano tayo mag-respond as a whole in, in terms of problems, in terms of challenges like this. Kasi we always um, receive responses, we always receive support na very blanket, very holistic. Hindi siya... Um, hindi niya natutugunan yung pangangailangan ng mga batang babae, protection for GBB, hindi niya natutugunan yung protection and needs ng mga young women in terms of access to sanitary toilets, yung mga ganyan. Ay, parang dalawa ka dyan, ha? Siyempre, may intermission number. <laughs> So that's that's that and i think this can be addressed through policy changes and shifting in in the focus of how we craft our policies in terms of disaster preparedness what are the it's there sub- near the place <laughs> <laughs> the <before> you... <laughs> hi cat <laughs> 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 
majority yan ang burden ng mga women, ha? I mean, we have to care for our pets din. Kasi I think, uh, nakakailight din to ng Broly na they save our pets or dogs yeah, din. Yeah. Or, um, Tapos, you know, ako animals. siguro, I am just thankful that that I had a partner na, I have a partner na very, sabi nga ni Don, nakaladkad na kasi ni ate yung asawa niya. <laughs> very expensive na siya sa mga ganitong mga pangyayari. But not everyone are like us, no? Not everyone have have partners like us. Yung mga kasama sa sa bahay at sa buhay na hindi mo na kailangang sabihan. So, shout out ito sa mga asawa. <laughs> Pag may parating ka mag-go, kayo na ang mag-check ng cupboard ninyo kung aabot ba ng isang linggo yung laman. <laughs> that's the that's one thing that you can do actually. Yung mga partners, yung mga husbands. I, I'm saying sa Facebook, parang deaf and dumb bayan daw yung usapan. Um, <laughs> there are husbands out there or boyfriends or partners who are watching this. You can be part of those who um lessen the burden on women. No, you you just have to listen. You just have to be sensitive. And also, siguro, if if you're a woman and you think that your your partner or your spouse is a little bit dense on on getting what needs to be done, make a checklist na lang and, and give it to them. Yeah. On, yeah. That's I know that's part of the response also. Because the, the response should be buo. It's 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 in terms of shifting our policies. In terms of um providing better services and uh, shifting our services when needed. And the response should also be within our homes. No, kailangan sa bahay maintindihan yung shared accountability sa pag take care ng household. Yes, yes, and just to add that to Dreen, sabi, yun nga, sabi nga natin, this is not just a fight for women, or oh, of women. Kung baga, kailangan magtulong-tulong tayo eh. Kasi honestly, uh, yung household chores, everything, managing the house, it's not the easiest stuff to do. And it's actually the hardest uh, part My- of I hear of like budget, the way you have to do the math, you have to count your money, you have to manage, you have yung cleanliness pa na, the ba? And daming karang, uh, daming karang ayusin dito. And sabi nga, uh, and it's important din yung naging sinabi nyo po, na highlighting also LGBT families. You also have to recognize them. Kasi, as a babae, sabi nga na din, sabi nga na women, we have to recognize that. We have to recognize lesbian couples, diba? We have to recognize Ooh. every family na meron tayo. And whether it's a gay couple na parehas nagkasama, if kailangan nila ng relief, kung kailangan nila ng ganitong uh, support, we have to give them uh, regardless of who their partner is or kung ano man yung sexuality ng partner natin. Because, Kaya nga ito hindi po operation eh. Kasi wala siyang pangalan eh. It, it's a so, reason for everyone. It should be... Yeah. Meron pa ang ano actually, I just remembered. Isa din sa mga napag-iiwanan in terms of disaster, elderly women. Uh, yes, yes, agree. Yeah. Yeah. The senior citizens with special geriatric care needs. Um, halimbawa, relief ops. So what if... Uh, may mga cases na ganito eh. The, the elderly woman is living alone. So, mm-hmm. ay hindi siya pumila, kaya hindi siya nabigyan. Kaya hindi na nga siya makatayo, di ba? Pag-ibigyan yeah. mo pa ba siya? Di ba? So, yung, yung mga ganito. And with, um, in terms of providing support, it would be also better if we have um, better profile or what do you call that? Yung parang um, data ng mga tao, like, how many women do we have? How many children is there in this community? How many elderly people do we have? So, parang, para na tailor fit yung response based doon sa numero na yun. Because that's what we don't have. We have very obsolete data in terms of, ano, uh, population pero, education. There's always census, di ba? Pero I think nakalakihan ko ba? Uh, nakalakihan ko may census na. Pero parang, sa, yun nga din sinasabi ko ate. I think I have this discussion. Exactly, with another friend. So, paano? I think it's Jack, no? Sabi niya sa akin, so, paano yan kung, like, for example, yun nga, yung mga distribution ng mga, um, ng mga brand panties and so stuff. Sabi ko kasi parang, I think there should be a data per barangay na parang, oh. sa bahay, uh, black one, ilan yung babae dyan, black two, di ba? Parang, I think it's easier. We should be that. Parang, I 
think marami pa ding gaps sa, sa policies natin na um, oh, kailangan oh. nakatutok at may may gender perspective talaga. At i-add ko lang ano sa mga isa pa sa mga widely affected and vulnerable during um disasters ay ang mga um women working in formal sector. Um kasi nga wala silang social protection, walang SSS, walang mga um other safety nets ano. So minsan mas nag poor na yung conditions, mas nagiging worst pa. So, I think at some point, oh. um, yun, yung i-highlight ko lang yung mga informal. Kasi economically um, challenged na sila. And yeah. when, the one thing that we observe, um, ito ay undocumented, but these are stories on the ground, no, na, na sinundan ko during the time nung kasagsaga ng total community lockdown, the sex workers. Yeah. The yeah. sex workers, they have to walk from this city to another city, but then they cannot cross, so they have to find ways to mediate, uh, parang i-trade, may mga trade-ins na nangyayari para makatawid sila from cities to city. So yun, yan yung mga challenges ng, ng mga kababaihan. And then sabi nga ni Don, yung mga nasa informal work, I have cousins na mga babae. Um, both kami ng husband ko, may mga, may mga pinsan kami na nawala ng trabaho during the lockdown. Biruan nga namin madalas dahil dito sa pandemic na to, dahil sa sunod-sunod na disaster na to, lahat na online seller. So, pag, pag wala ka skills like me, I, I'm just good in talking. That's my that's my skill. I'm good in talking. Don't, don't ask me to cook. Don't ask me to to do anything. Ako, ako ang ano, ako ang recipient ng kanila mga binibenta. But what, what is 10 pesos per tub na kinita mo? That, that cannot even, so if you can sell like 50 tubs of obiches de sal for this day, you will only get 10 pesos per tub. That's 50 pesos. That's just isang kilong bigas. Paano ang ulam? Ano, imag, sabi ni Claude, imagination. <laughs> imagination na lang na mga. These are the things. And when we give out relief operations during the time of disaster, it's not even enough to sustain them until they can go back to their um, normal na, na setting. Like the cases of farmers and fishers when Taal erupted, no? Um, BA, the Department of Agriculture, was able to provide loans. But these are loans which will eventually, the farmers and the fishers would have to repay, no? This, this, mm. this is good. It could help them, but... Um, there should be also um, mechanisms to help them repay these loans. And you immediate relief of is what? Like seven kilos of bigas. Um, I'm saying what we experienced during the pandemic. Sabi ko, uh, there were nine of us in a household. So siyam kami, seven adults, two kids. We received pitong kilong bigas and labin apat na sardinas. So imagine if we don't have any other source of income to provide for our needs during that time. No, what what if we are not working women? How how will the kids uh, survive with bigas and uh, so yung bigas malamang extend mo yung gagawin mo lugaw or, or anything and puro sardinas ka in the next seven days kasi sardinas na labing apat yung laman nung nung relief box and these are all being carried by the nanay no uh, or or the female na lead ng ng family ito yung mga dalahin ng mga kababaihan so laging doble ang burden ng babae when it comes to disaster because you have to take care of yourself you have to be physically healthy and mentally uh, stable because your family needs you to take care of them so yeah. you, you have to make sure that you're okay because if you're not okay who's gonna be looking out after them who's gonna be ensuring that they eat that they take a bath <laughs> Yeah. Bigat for babae. So ano, um, very important talaga yung psychosocial support eh. Ngayon, um, I think first for some people, mga Mars, may mga ibang tao na hindi nakikita yung ganun eh. Kasi parang, kunyari sa amin, hindi albayanos kayo eh. Dapat resilient na kayo kasi lagi kayong uh, tinatawa ng bagyo. Ano? Ay, wow. Wala ba kami yung <laughs> Alam mo, uh, for for some time, nairita ako pag narinig ko yung term na resilient Pinoy's. 
Kasi yeah, parang yeah. it has become an excuse for people, uh, especially those who have the capacity and in the authority to provide a better response. No, it, It's become yeah. an excuse na, eh, resilient naman ang mga Pinoy, kaya natin to, makakabangon tayo. And I always say, we deserve better. We need to get better. Resilient is not just about being able to bounce back. Resilient is about being prepared and not making the same mistakes that we did the, the last time that the disaster hit us. No? Kumbaga, nagiging resilient tayo because we learned something and we build on those learnings to be better. Hindi yung resilient tayo pero paulit-ulit yung ginagawa natin. Hindi tayo, hindi nagbago yung, yung strategy na ginagamit. Kaya, yeah, sana exactly. sabi ko yata doon yan eh. Sabi ko, doon hindi na ako natutuwa pag narinig ko yung resilient Pinoy na yan. Nagiging excuse oh, na yan ang mga kamabahan. Parang, no, it's not an excuse na lang for government na neglect. Parang, uh, at some point tayo, we will always be, um we will always rise to the occasion and what's happening. Kasi parang, sino mo? Sinong, uh, Ikaw ba hindi mo tutulungan yung sarili mo kung wala exactly. namang ibang tutulong sa'yo? Wala namang tutulong sa'yo eh, kundi sarili mo. And I think for Nick, ano, uh, maganda itong ginawa ni Nick na initiative for um, the people of San um, Francisco and Gunabatan. Kasi nag-start siya ng um, fun drive ate for, for for the communities there, especially oh, for nice. Palabang. Exactly. Kasi kung titingnan mo lang, saan mo lang gobyerno, siguro sa... Uh, I mean, you know, at some point. Kasi... Para mga tao, ayaw na din. Oh, gobyerno na naman ang sinasabi ng mga babaeng ito. Ganun-ganun. Hindi po. Kasi accountability din po. Ay, ako doon. Naka-red lipstick ka ba? Baka-baka. Oo naman. So, ako yung nalistat sinonymous to terrorism. Yes. Ba? <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that's the truth eh. We we need um we need better programming, we need better policies, we need stronger um services in terms of responding to disaster, lalo na for women and, and children. Kasi tayo talaga, tayong mga babae ang na, na, na bibigatan at nagdadala ng dalahin, pero tayo din ang walang nagtatanong kung okay pa ba tayo in all of this. Diba? Yes. Like, when, when I remembered um, yung bagyong tumama sa akla na medyo, medyo mulat na ako sa mga ganap-ganap kasi sanay naman na akong binabagyo ang akla. But this one was the worst, I think, was Typhoon Frank. Ay, ay, ah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. I remember Frank. But, Ay, alam mo yung baha from Aklan to Il- to Capiz to Iloilo nagtutour siya. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole yeah. western Visayas was flooded, walang makapasok na tulong, 'di ba? No, no help was able to come in the first two days. So people are left on their own devices to survive. Tapos yung putek hanggang this is in Calibo, ah. Calibo is like the pinaka-progresibong lugar sa, <laughs> sa Aklan. Yung putek was hanggang baba ng ng tuhod and and women you see women lining up at the water refilling station to get sanitary water you see women walking from one municipality going to Kalibo just to get the the, the goods that they need because all other um sources na mapeding mapagbilhan ay sarado tinamaan din ng bagyo and and all that and ang ang hirap lang noon kasi you also see pregnant women you you see old women nakapila sila doon naglalakad sila doon and in all of this you you're going to ask yourself bakit parang ang tagal ng tulong dumating no bakit parang yung tulong naman na inaabot sa atin is actually coming from the taxes that we pay no this is actually from from the resources that is being shared by all Filipinos no so why is it so hard to give Filipinos the services that we deserve no lalo na yung mga kababaihan very very cliche yung kasabihan na nasabi nila sa likod ng bawat matatag na lalaki ay isang palaban na babae <laughs> but, but it's very true no it's very real so kung may ganung pag-value sa kababaihan, bakit hindi siya nararamdaman sa panahon ng disaster? Bakit hindi siya nararamdaman sa panahon ng pandemya? 
So, yun yung, kasi yun nga, kulang pa tayo sa uh, maayos na pulisiya, kulang pa tayo sa mas malalim na pagpaplano kasi wala din tayong mga sapat na, na tools or, or methodologies in disaster preparedness. Minsan, ma- maririnig mo yung mga tao, sana kagaya tayo ng Japan, may warning system, sana kagaya tayo ng ng uh, mga progresibong bansa na may magandang uh, strategiya na sinusunod pag nagkakaroon ng calamity. Pero sanga-sanga na kasi siya eh. We, we don't have that kind of technology because the Filipino people are capable of providing that technology na karamihan, again, ay kababaihan din. They choose to yeah. give the kind for better opportunity. So nagpapatong-patong na siya. And it all boils down to because women are not given the equal opportunity and um, access to to this kind of um, uh, opportunity na, na maibigay at makapagbahagi din sila nung kaya nilang ibigay. Yeah. Yes. Ayun, grabe. Ang bilis ng oras natin, Mama. Ang ganda kasi ng usapan natin, eh. Kaya, kaya. Ako din, sabi ko, hindi pa, tuloy lang tayo. Pero sabi ko, shit, sang... Ang sarap ng asawa. Magluluto na ang mga nanay ng hapunan. <laughs> so, at magluluto, magpapaligo na ng, ano, ng mga anak na dugyot na buong araw. <laughs> Kasi pag dugyot ang anak, anong ginagawa ng nanay mo? It's always the nanay, di ba? Grabe, sobrang ako ang dami ko talaga na nagulang sa'yo, Ate Doreen. Kasi parang ako sa akin, though meron na akong gender lens and perspective ng, ng uh, kumagalente when it comes to like uh, disasteries and stuff. Pero ang ganda lang ng mga scenario kasi um, dito natin makikita yung, ang laki pa pala ng gaps, ang laki pa pala ng kailangang improve sa bansa natin. And it's something that we really need to work on for us to have a better disaster response. Uh, with the knowledge na lagi nga tayo ang ginagawa. Siguro pang huli na lang Ate Doreen uh, sa pagtatapos natin. Ano yung message mo for, for the government or the LGUs and even for 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 the people who's trying to do donation drives and yeah. mensahe na rin po sa mga kababayan. <laughs> yeah, oh, for, the for the government, <laughs> for the government I, I know that I know for the government, I know that we can do better and we can be better. If if the government needs help in, in drafting technology, in, in doing researches on how we can do uh, better uh, disaster preparedness and response, maraming mga ahensya, maraming mga organisasyon na handang, handang tumulong. Maging bukas sa pakikipagtulungan. Um, pangalawa for the government is also siguro to... to to really push for that shift in in crafting our responses from disaster response to disaster preparedness. Disaster preparedness means giving bigger budget allocation, um, giving better programs, crafting more gender inclusive programs in in our disaster preparedness programs and. Um, learnings from from the lessons of the previous uh, disasters that we face. COVID taught us a lot of lessons in terms of government programming. Um, COVID also highlighted what we can do better. I'm not saying that it's that our government response is hopeless. It is not. There there are plenty of good opportunities that we can we can expound and we can improve. There's plenty of room for improvement and yon. Maraming pwedeng and pang mas maganda. May maganda na tayong ginagawa pero meron pang uh, mas maganda ang pwedeng gawin. No, we can um, especially siguro for youth leaders in the government, our SKs. No, ito talaga yung akin po ang <laughs> ating mga SKs. Mas maging lubog at tingnan ang disaster response and disaster preparedness. Kasi um, the challenge for you now is how do you respond to adolescent females in your community not na magpa not by saying adolescent females magpa cute cute kayo ha <laughs> but by asking what they need and what you can do better for for them for for adolescent females and the young uh, girl child no also for for those who do donation drives for those who are doing um, support mobilizing support 
coordinate with um coordinate with the local government when you go to the local government when when you go on the ground always coordinate with the local government on the support that you are going to provide that's one para hindi kayo <laughs> <laughs> pagbintang ang bogus or masabi na lumalakad kayo on your own just let them know wala naman yang permit or anything just let them know that you will be there for your protection also para hindi kayo makuyog ng mga tao pangalawa hindi ito talaga yung una at pinakamahalaga empathize empathize with these survivors empathize with these victims when you're going to give something think not as a giver but as a receiver what are you going to feel if you're going to receive this no and that that that's the very crucial thing and sometimes the help that the community needs is not actually material you can provide um mental uh support just by being there with them helping them clean up doing chores cooking food for them taking care of their children watching over toddlers even just for a few hours as a mom i can attest Hiramin niyo lang yung anak ko kahit isang oras talagang magpapasalamat ako ng bonggang bongga. Hopefully <laughs> na lang ako ng one hour. Hindi ko naman ipapamigay yan. Hindi ko hindi ko ipapaampon. Oh, volunteer nga ako, di ba? Hindi, lalo na Mother's Day, appreciate the break. Yeah. And um for for the women, number one, it's okay to ask help. It's okay. It's okay to say that you need help. It's okay to say that you cannot do all of this. Because the things that society is telling us that you should do this, you should do that, and all of that, these are norms. These are putting us in boxes, no? So so what if you can cook for today? There are people who are willing to provide food, ask for help, no? I, I always tell my fellow mothers, because there's this um, motherhood support community, we are not superheroes. As romanticizing as it may seem that women are superheroes, we are not. Tao tayo, nauubos tayo, naluloba tayo, and we cannot give what we do not have. If we want to give our family the best version of us, we deserve the best version of us. And we can only do that by taking care of our health, by taking care of our mental well-being, by taking care of our family. If you feel like drinking coffee would make you feel better, go and get that coffee. If you feel that soju or tanduay would make you feel better, go and get that soju and tanduay. Or if you feel that like you need a good nap to, to be better, go and take that nap. Kasi ang trabaho naman ng kababaihan hindi natatapos. Hindi siya nauubos. So give yourself a break. Be, be easy on yourself. No, Be easy. Don't try to fit in into that that box that moms are superheroes we should do everything women are empowered when we can do everything no women are empowered when we know how to take care of ourselves to be able to give back to the family and to the community the best that we can so yun lang maraming salamat tapos na lahat nandun na mga insights ko at mga natutunan kasi sa'yo yun and thank you so much sana next time pagka marunulot kami ganito we're looking forward to talk with you again kasi very 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 I mean this was the best friends we ever had thank you talaga thank you thank you I hope to visit you soon so ayun yes Bye. Bye po, Ate Doreen. Ayan. So, maring doon, grabe. <laughs> intense na. na. <laughs> marang bagyo lang. Yung intense na yung natutunan. Marang, wow. Grabe. Yeah. Yeah, ang intense nung six episode natin for Babae Dyers. I still can't contain everything kasi grabe. Ang dami niya insights, mare. As in, sa mga nasap din na ni, ni Ate Doreen, ano pa yung mga natutulan mo na sa akin ni Mare? Alam mo, parang, oh my God, ang dami, so sobrang dami ko natutunan. Parang it compasses everything. But I think I'll just need to emphasize din, ano, na yung poor conditions ngayon ng, ng women, I think, in terms lalo na um, sa um, vulnerabilities, no, during disasters. Um, I think 
ito ay resulta din kasi ng kanyang um, social roles and physical makeup din na um, nagro-root din sa, sa poverty, you know? at at the same time yung, yung patriarchal um, society din na nag-shape um, to what women should do and believe. So I think, um, I think um, ang, ang Pilipinas naman, we've got a long way naman in terms of, um, of, of providing gender perspective on different um, programs, especially sa DR around climate change programs natin, especially sa community level. Actually, more sin-emphasize din ang uh, DRRM natin, no? ang, ang batas natin on this, na nare-recognize nga ang role ng, ng kababaihan kasi meron ang mga kababaihan have um, the experience on the ground, the knowledge in, in terms of uh, preparedness, adaptation, mitigation, and awareness of the constraints that um, women can um, are well aware of. So I think, um, Ayun, kailangan lang din siguro na more than uh, the papers, ano, more than sa mga policies natin, ang implementation nito. And I think at some point then, kung um, may kakababaihan sa mga local disaster um, uh, management councils natin, ay lagyan din ng perspektibo ng LGBT, ng mga young people, na iba't ibang sektor din. Kasi um, kailangan ano eh, um, um, inclusive din tayo na ibang mga tao at the same time yung vulnerabilities din kasi nila ay iba-iba din at ang ways of um, coping up din nila at ang needs nila. So para may 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 gender perspective on that. So kailangan natin ayun. Um at the same time ano um saludo ako sa mga kababaihan na patuloy na um nanguna sa sa pag prepare nila sa kanila mga pamilya kanilang mga komunidad in terms of of this um, um of the pandemic in terms of the disaster um but at the same time yun nga um minsan um a simple kamusta sa kanila a simple kausap or mag-aalaga lang ng anak nila sa center para lang maka breathe in breathe out ng sila sa nangyari maka cope up lang ano kailangan natin na natutukan din yung um um Um, mental well-being. Kaya nga, mas uh, kailangan pa natin paigtingin ang, ang mental health uh, and psychosocial support in um, during disasters. Ano? Ayun. Yes, Mare. Actually, ngayon, bago, bago ko sabihin yung uh, support ko na natutunan ako, gusto pala natin mag-thank you sa lahat ng ano. Actually, ang dami natin comments na nakita ngayon and it's my heart reacts. Ay, wow. ito, sister mo ba ito? Or family mo si uh, Miss September Makahilo? Ay, ah! Uh, <laughs> kasi ay. noon pa, uh, doon ako. Kapatid ko yan, o, di ba? O, di ba? Very supportive. I think, ito, ito, mga friend ko din, sino pa ba? Sino pa mga nag-comment dyan? Ay, ay, si Dima Lee, o, di ba? Isa pang babae, si Irish Gem din, o, mga tropa pips ko yan sa Ilo. Uh, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, ang dami na yung viewers natin. Uh, kaya nga eh, sobrang thankful tayo. And sabi nga ni Oria ko ngayon, sabi niya, galing ng chikahan na to, congrats sa lahat. So, thank you po, kasi if this wouldn't really be possible without everyone na nag-watch. Kasi kayo naman talaga yung inspiration namin, why we keep on doing this. Sabi nga namin ni Maring Don, isa, dalawa, tatlo, um, yun na yung pinaka-importante sa amin. At least we were able to give you something na kahit kami rin ay natututo during this process. And it's something na talagang thankful kami kasi you continually support us, you continually uh, support uh, the Babayu Diaries, our team, uh, for this cause. At sobrang nagpapasalamat kami sa inyo. Yun nga, ito yung sabi ni Ate Dorin kanina na nag-comment, si Nathan Alarica. Sabi niya, napakaganda ng topic, parang death and tambayan na. <laughs> Saka, yung friend ko nag-comment din. Sabi ni, ano, ni Frank Diaz, true, I'm learning so many things. ba diba? Alam mo, Frank, kami rin, uh, kami ni Maring doon, dami rin namin natutunan from this. Especially na, uh, ngayong disaster, syempre, kahit ako, inami ko lag, lagi sa sarili ko na, there's always so much to learn and we can always learn from people. We, we invite. And, Uh, to share nga yung natutunan ko. I think 
uh, yung pinaka gusto kong uh, naging discussion ni Ate Doreen is yung uh, ma-emphasize yung, yung totoong kailangan ng mga kababaihan na ma-emphasize yung importansya na mabigyang diin na yung pag-prioritize uh, ng disaster preparedness. And of course, yung pagiging resilient. Yes, we are resilient. We are, you know, we, we are always trying to cope. We are always trying na bumangon from this. But despite all this resiliency, meron kaming kailangan eh. Meron tayong kailangan. Bakit isa sa atin, every time na may disaster tayo, pandemic, yeah. ano yung kailangan natin? Tulong. And, and it's something that na pinakakailangan natin. And at the same time, we have to identify kung ano yung tulong na yun. When we identify the tulong, we have we always have to make sure that we have the lens na lagi nating isipin yung pagbibigyan natin. Ano yung mararamdaman nila? Anong effect nito sa kanila? Safe ba to sa kanila? Kasi ang pagtulong naman it's partnerships eh. I hope people won't do it just to, you know, just to go viral or just to uh, for clout, di ba? Kasi it's never the right, the, the, the appropriate action when it comes to this. Kasi totoong tao yung nagsasuffer, totoong community yung nahihirapan. And what they need right now is for you not to take advantage sa mga nangyari ito, but to actually support them uh, during this time. And I guess yun yung pinaka natutunan ko kay ate during ngayon na I think uh, sa mga susunod na responses natin, mas i-insure natin na it's a gender inclusive, gender sensitive, and talaga walang pinipili whether uh, the person comes from an LGBT family because every every person is part of this community. In, in Babahi Diaries, you are part of our community and, and you will always be a part of our community. And always remember that Babahi Diaries will always be a safe space for everybody because we see people without discrimination. We support each other, we help each other, we lift each other. And kahit pa sabihin natin na at times meron tayong differences of opinions, uh, Babahi Diaries stands for human rights no matter what no matter uh, sa differences ng religious belief because what we believe is yung karapatang uh, pantao na pinaka-importante ngayon because uh, sabi nga natin, kindness is the best thing that we can offer today and we hope that people actually spread that. So, ikaw marin doon, just to add na di, yung ating vlog. Uh, any last message? <laughs> I think gaganda na mga pinagsasabi mo more. And I think I'll just second to, to every... Uh, Word, you've said. And I think may, may isa kang announcement para sa ating lahat, Mars. Sige, yes. share mo. <laughs> Galing mo magano. <laughs> Ayan, um, up na po yung ating Babayi Diaries uh, Instagram page. So, sana puntahan niyo po yun. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nick Maravillas. And also, please support our donation drive. Um, actually, ang in-aim namin is 100,000. Pero syempre, whether we reach it or not, what's important to us is we'll be able to give money. So for those uh, people who still want to donate, uh, you can like check uh, our donation drive on my Facebook account or my Facebook page. Uh, tingnan nyo lang po doon, nandun po lahat ng, uh, ng uh, information, where to donate, how to donate, and yung process din po kung sino yung mga makakatanggap. So sana ba nga yan? Um, as requirement pala nung, ano, nung donor namin, we are actually required to uh, to actually post the video and documentation. Pero yung listahan or email will be, uh, or listahan ng mga taong nakapirma will be sent via email. So for those people who's gonna see the video, it's actually for the purpose of donors or the requirement of the donor uh, as a proof of documentation for, for this event. And you can check that out on our uh, Facebook account or on our uh, uh, YouTube account, we will be posting that for for the purpose of uh, documentation. It will be documented pala by our local coordinator, Bernadette Nidea, who is a teacher in San Francisco, Ginabata, Nalbay. And the money that you will be donating will be given directly to the people. So that's our assurance to, to all the people who's going to donate. So yun, sana supportan nyo. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama sa amin ngayong hapon. At sana abangan nyo yung uh, aming seventh episode of Our Babae Diaries. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Friday mga Mars. Happy weekend. Maraming Happy salamat. Bye-bye.